Hello everybody, and welcome back to Tales from the Heart, a TOEFL boyfriend. Now last we left off, Nengeki was trying to tell us a pretty big secret, I guess. And then we get it interrupted by the teacher and blah 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 blah. Anyways, he left us a note telling us he wanted to talk, so let's see what uh, his little secret is, I guess. Nageki, are you here? Nageki? Ver... here. Ever here. Nageki! Hello, Miss Kenzerot. You startled me. How long have you been standing there? From the very beginning. So, what did you need? I wanted to talk to you, Miss Kenzerot. Talk to me? Continue our conversation. We're talking about bullying, I think? Come on, I have a better memory than you. Okay, I'm all ears, Nageki. I'm not sure where to start. I've noticed a lot since we last spoke together. Miss Kenserot, hmm? Let's go outside. Uh, okay. <laughs> but he hates going outside. Come on. He stands up and walks over to the door. I follow, agitated. You first. Okay. Why does he want to go out all of a sudden? I should be happy, but... Hmm? What's wrong? You said you wanted to come out here. He stands in the doorway, pushing against open air. What are you doing, Mime? Watch. He walks back a little ways in the library and then... Runs forward, crashing into the air. Uh, Nageki, what? Thud. He bounces off the invisible wall and falls back to the library. Ew, damn it! As I thought, I can't leave. What? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library. After a while, I lose consciousness and wake up here again. And so it repeats. I said I'd come to understand the truth by talking to you, Miss Kenserat. You probably know too why no one else talks to me. That's because... Actually, yeah, they can't see you. I'm the only one who can see you? Probably. I forgot why I was here. How I came to be stuck in this place. I've been alone here for years, with no one to talk to. For years? My sense of time is broken. I can't feel or remember its passage. I've seen at least five school festivals go by. But then you came and talked to me. I had no partner but myself for so long, and suddenly, you wouldn't leave me alone. As I talked to you, I finally remembered why I can't leave. I killed myself in this room, and so here I stay. My clock broke here, its hands turned meaninglessly each day the same as the last, alone forever. No one's bullying me or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. I have no regrets. It was my choice to end my life here, after all. But I think I'll miss you, Miss Kenserat. If it wasn't like this, I would... I would have liked to talk to you more, for longer. Ngeki. I wrap my arms around him. I can feel him softly, but he's cold. At first, staying here alone was painful, but I grew numb over time. I ceased to feel pain. That feeling that I thought I lost, I had lost, came back because of you. I'll talk to you enough to make up for anyone else, Nageki. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. No. Why not? As I talked to you, I changed. I didn't notice until just recently. When you told me about this school, I was probably trying to take back time I, the time I never able to spend here. I never asked you to, but you relentlessly told me everything that I was going on here. I already feel like I've spent a full year at this school, and now it's over. I think the Klex ants are going to stop soon. The Geki. His head was right next to mine, but his voice sounded muffled in distance. When I look down, his feet are already disappearing. Nageki, wait! We've never talked like this before. 
I don't want this to be the last time. Don't cry, Miss Kenzerot. I'm already long gone. There's no one here to mourn. But... Just one thing I need to tell you before I go. The thing that I noticed. The secret that stopped my clock. No, no, don't say it. The Geki, I... As I filled up, I grew closer to disappearing. You're the one who made me disappear, Miss Kenzerot. I can't stop it now. I still have so many things to tell you. You've already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret? Thank you. I love you. So yeah, that was a feels trip. You know, I got really nothing to add to that. Honestly, like, okay, yeah, not bad. Made my person fall in love with a ghost. Could have been better. For some reason, if you've seen my other Let's Play of uh, Bionic Heart, I tend to have a really, really bad luck with story, as far as story goes. Last one I died, spoilers, and in this one, fell in love with a ghost. Well, thanks for joining me, guys. If you want me to do another uh, Let's Play this, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you'd like to see. So, thanks for joining me, and this was Tales from the Heart of Tofu Boyfriend. See you guys next time. There's nothing in the air, no big deal, but lately you've been so sweet. Kiss me, love me, you're the one for me. Look, I don't really care, it's not like I've been swept off my feet. Kiss me, love me, you're the one for me. Buddy, who are you fooling? Oh, fate is cruel, oh man. Kiss me, love me, you're the one for me. My thoughts are going crazy, and some dumb shit, your manga rom-com, chick flick tears, but frankly, I don't give a damn.